If you are on my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and like to you all. I hope everybody is doing good. So I'm going to tap in and see what messages I have for you all today. Take what resonates. The messages may or, res may, or may not resonate with you all. Use your own discernment, okay, when it comes to my messages. First off, I want to call on my highest order protection for Angel Michael. Be with me as I channel these messages. Nothing but clear and accurate messages. Clear and accurate messages. Weight of the world, boundaries, let go. It's not yours to carry. So you guys could be uh, taking spiritual baths because you're longing for home. Homesick for the stars. Somebody could be stargazing at night. So you understand that you are carrying weight that's not yours. Time to let it go. Yeah, loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, destinies, addictions, let God in, and star bathing. So you definitely are taking spiritual cleanses, okay? Or they, there's a need to do a spiritual cleanse because you could be picking up on energy, feeling way down. It's, it's not really yours to carry, okay? You guys are just really connected at this time. So Spirit wants you to, you know, stay grounded, okay? Let go, loosen your grip, because you could be holding on to something. And it's time to let something go. find enlightenment seek nowhere for it lives within you yeah so i'm i'm hearing don't seek advice from everyone uh take time to yourself okay um somebody could be in this energy this is why uh it is loosening your grip here coping mechanisms um i went through this myself so i can speak on it sometimes you can't uh express your problems to everyone okay it doesn't help just pray okay meditate release the energy okay two 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 as i say this because if you don't release that energy that energy will like weigh you down so spirit wants you to like spend time with yourself meditate maybe you know figure out a solution within a vision that you see like where do you see yourself what do you see yourself doing here find a different way yeah because you are a goat Fearless I am in the path I choose for. I've never been led astray. I always find my way. Yeah, you're longing for home, but you're going to find your way home. Yeah, Phoenix, you got to rise. It's something about rising up, even in this future. Loosen your grip so you can be released. Because you're holding on to something too tight. Yeah, lighthouse. Don't doubt yourself. You could be in the energy of just feeling like nothing's going to work. It's going to work in your favor. You just have to find your way. No GPS, you'll find your way. You have to turn your GPS on within you. So meditation is very important. Spiritual bathing, bathing is very important for some of you all. Yeah, self-worship. Um, it's giving me this energy, like I said, you, you can't seek advice from everyone. Okay, yeah, sacrifice. You must find the ebb and flow of life within your very self. Embracing all is embracing the truth. Yeah, you have to embrace the truth. Something happened, if, even if it hurts you, you have to embrace that truth. But I'm telling you, gossiping or talking to other people about it, it makes things worse because some other people, they talk about you. They can talk about what the things that you go through. This is why it's best to just, you know, talk to God. It's best to just let things go. Okay, it's best to just reflect. To think highly of yourself. It doesn't mean that you are selfish. It's just spending time with yourself, loving on yourself. My hands fold as I speak to the stars, watching as the sky holds its breath, its stillness, that I find all that I am and all the divinity within me. Yeah, you have to find the divinity within yourself so you can grow from a situation. Because I feel like it's something that you have been going through. You've been holding on to this. Uh, and it's kind of hard for you to let go of this, maybe. Because you're really attached to this. This could be a, a something or someone. Yeah, reclaiming your authenticity. Spirit wants you to reclaim who you're going to be. 
because you got people, you are a goat. You got people that want you to question yourself, doubt yourself. It's like, quit telling people things and quit listening to everybody. I'm, okay, I'm not going to say this because I'm just going to say quit listening to everybody and their problems. But okay, it's okay to be there for people. But understand what other people are going through is not what you are going through. Okay? So um, you could be an empath. You could pick up on people's energy. Okay? If somebody feels something like a certain type of way, this is your friend or family, you're going to feel that same way. I can't make this up. Vulnerability. But you have to understand who you are. You are a goat. So things can make you feel vulnerable because you care. You have that, yeah, you have that feeling. You, you are someone who feels other people's energy. You are an empath. But we have freedom. Claim your independence. You might, it might not even be a relationship for you. It could just be you actually claiming who you are. It's like people are trying to tell you who you need to be. The mirror. Now look at this. Self-worship and the mirror. You have to look yourself in the mirror and understand who the fuck you are. Wake the fuck up, collective. Don't let nobody tell you who you are. Know thyself. Self-examination. Seeing who you really are. Somebody's been trying to manip manipulate your guidance. So, you know what? Somebody, if you seek guidance from someone, be very mindful because there's something you do not see. If you've been seeking guidance from someone, someone wants to manipulate your guidance, your inner guidance. This is why you're being called to take time to yourself because you're a motherfucking goat. I don't know who's been trying to tell you you're not, but you are. You're a fucking goat. Somebody's been trying to get into your head and make you feel like you don't know who you are and you do. Yeah, you a gift. You are truly a gift. So understand that you are truly a gift to someone. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm telling you, know your worth. Know your worth. You are here to, I don't know. Somebody wants you to doubt this. They don't want you to know your worth. They feel like they can manipulate you because they know you are the type of person. You really move off emotions. It's a lot of water out here, okay? Weight of the world. You're carrying burdens that aren't even yours. Star bathing. If you are definitely an empath, star bathing will help release all that energy that's not yours. What's going on for the collective? trying to make this quick but we have relaxation yeah peace spirit wants you to be at peace right now yeah because someone's trying to make you feel insecure and have low self-esteem i don't know who y'all be talking to but these people are worried <laughs> okay yeah the other woman competition yeah i can't make this up somebody's competing with you somebody is competing with you but trying to put their burdens on you yeah this person is working out of their ego Cause somebody know you hub. They know you a fucking go. So I don't know why they even trying to compete with you. Because yeah, they're trying to murder their energy on you. Okay, somebody's trying to murder their energy on you. They're trying to murder their wounds, they hurt, they pain, and yeah, spirits like back up. So maybe you need some space. Yeah, because somebody wants to apologize. They want your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because somebody, y'all, somebody, you could have talked to somebody about something and they try to predict everything that was going to happen. They, they try to tell you about yourself or tell you, you know, I don't know. Somebody wanted you to for, for intimacy, for letting someone go. They wanted you to be at a crossroads, not knowing which direction to take. So you wouldn't be in this energy of, you know, not giving someone a second chance, you'll put something to rest. This is why spirit is guiding you to be in the energy of self-love and healing your heart. Cause whoever this woman is, she's worried. She's trying to she's trying to lower your self-esteem. She's trying to tell you shit so you won't feel good about yourself. You won't feel like you are who you are. Like somebody is worried. I wouldn't talk to this person. Yeah, this person is mad because they feel like they're missing a part. They're missing something without you. Like, 
this one is weird. Who is this? So this is giving me an energy of like maybe a friend that you usually talk to about your problems. And you tell this person you just need some space. And this woman is trying to tell you what you need. Yeah, but they just coming around to dig dirt on you. So this is somebody that you you confess this to. You confess to this person. You trust this person. But they only listen to your problems because they want to dig dirt on you. They only want you to feel bad so they can get. They want you to, <laughs> we have vice versa. They want you to listen to their advice. just so they can get dirt on you and tell people, yeah, they're gone for. Tell people about what you're going through. This could even be a family member. So this could be a family member that you talk to about your problems. They only want to know about your problems just so that they could talk about you. We have jackpot. Yeah, this person is clout hungry. They say anything, do anything, make shit up. Okay, they're mad because you blocking them. Maybe you tell, like I said, maybe you tell this person you don't want to talk to them or you just got a lot going on and somebody's meddling in your life and it's played out. So this person could try to start drama with you or this is the energy they wanted you to be in. So if you were going through some type of relationship issue, they wanted you to be in the energy of like starting drama, arguing with people so they could talk about you with some dirty offer. Like this person's word. They talk to everybody about you and what you're going through. Soon you tell them something, they're running their fucking mouth. It's like this person act like that she don't have problems of her own. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I can't make this up. This could be a Scorpio with the death card. Or you could be a Scorpio. Take what resonates. But this woman, she sleeps around a lot. She does a lot in the dark and this is what you don't see it's like this is not somebody you should be seeking any type of advice from this woman's a hoe <laughs> let's be real this woman's a hoe the towel she wants to cause towels in your life she wants to cause you to feel the way she feels because this is how people make she this is truly how people see her okay people see this woman as a hoe period i'm gonna just put it out there people see you you're really held in high honor okay this is just what it is somebody was competing with you it's giving me an energy like, you know how, I'm not gonna say all people, but some people that you come across, they don't want you to have anything that they don't have, you know? So if you got love, even self-love, if you love yourself and you, you know, you're very confident in yourself, they don't want you to have this confidence. They want you to be in this energy so you will come to them and confess and confine to them so they can give you bad advice. This person's sneaky. They know you're too strong. Yeah, Ten of Swords, this person's sneaky. They only want to give you bad advice so they can end whatever happiness or whatever that you plan on doing in your life. Somebody wants you to feel like them, so they won't be left out in the cold because people leave this woman all the time. Nine of Swords with the Justice. So you walking away from this woman, are you not telling this woman something? It's stressing this woman out. She's like, she wants to know your business. This woman knows you're getting justice. This is definitely going to be a family member. Yeah, Page of Cups. Yeah, Empress, the Two of Wands. So you walked away from this woman. Yeah, Eight of Wands. And they're still trying to find a way to communicate with you. The High Priest, but you already know. So you already know. You had a gut feeling about telling this woman your business. And it was almost like God was showing you this person's hand, how they truly felt. You might have actually listened to this person and, and had to think about what they said. Somebody said something that made you think, uh, reevaluate who you are confiding it to. He was like, looking at this person like, hold on, now why would you say that? Yeah, full in reverse to where you got to pull your energy back because you like, yes. I was going to say, y'all, excuse my language. It's bitch. She makes foolish decisions, I'm telling you. you like, this is some foolish shit. I'm not acting like that. It's giving me, like, you know, just with the trends, okay? Gorilla and uh, Megan, you know. Fuck a nigga. And I lay, like, okay, yeah, you could be in that energy, but make sure you still knowing who you are. It's like, 
somebody could have been trying to convince you to sleep around, not do some silly shit. It's like, girl, you a child. You telling this person, like, I don't want to listen to shit you got to say. This person could even have addictions and they want to keep a grip on you. If you are going through something, they could always offer you drugs or something to try to make you feel like, you know, girl, this is what you need. This is what you need. Somebody wants you to think that you just need, yeah, they want you to be indecisive and then be in regret over your decisions like them because they're always in regret over their decisions they're always going through tower moments over their decisions they're always feeling stressed out because people constantly walk away from them you know king of pentacles why is the king of pentacles here i don't know if this woman has slept with somebody that you know somebody could have slept with somebody that you know seven of wands i fixed these cards and they're still coming out like this so this kind of is running into the message that i just did about the woman having sex with someone intentionally to cause a tower moment plus the seven of wands so this man did like unprotected sex with this woman yeah three of pentacles in reverse and you pulled your energy back so you listen to your own good advice yeah ace of cups listen to your own good advice this is why the wheel is turning for you okay you pulled your energy back and it was almost like God was telling you something was not your destiny that is not your weight that is not your fortune that is not who you are you are held in high honor it was almost like God wanted you to look in the mirror for a second because I don't think you understand who you are because this woman is trying to manipulate you she could have even been doing blood magic on you yeah so you might not even want it to confiding this one this one was doing magic so yeah energy warning this one was doing magic so you would talk to her she wanted to know your business people need to mind their fucking business what's going on what's going on yeah because you just want peace it's like somebody was trying to get you to give you some type of advice to cause conflict, to cause eruptions, to cause you to feel like you needed to still be around this person. And it's sad because you're focusing on your own mental health. I'm telling you, God was like, no, turn your GPS system on within yourself and focus on your own mental health. Because somebody else, they got mental issues. Like, you, sh this person shouldn't even be giving you no fucking advice, period. You shouldn't be seeking any type of advice from this person. And they're constantly thinking about you, though. Whoever this woman is, she constantly thinks about you. Yeah, she she's confused. She's confused. And this is definitely a family member. She's confused. She's like, well, what? Why ain't they telling me? Why ain't they? Because you know that this person's a wolf, wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, you gotta let this person go. Yeah, your spirit was telling you that this person was trying to get you, guide you the wrong way. What up? Y'all, what the fuck I just say? This woman sleeps around. Uh, she could even try to convince you to do something with her. Sex trafficking. And you cleansed your energy out. This woman could even be bisexual. And she could be into you. And this could be well be a family member. What? But you have to get a lot of happy days for listening to your intuition. This woman could have even hired a spiritual hitman. So she wanted to like take you out. Like, so, wow. Yeah, she wanted to sacrifice you. This is a fake feminine. Somebody was jealous because you are a real divine film. Somebody was jealous of your divinity. And they wanted to like take your place. But the most high protected you from this person. Because you a messenger. Like I said, you pick up on your own. You pick up on energy that's not even yours. So if you're constantly around other people listening to their advice and you are a messenger, how can you listen to the most high? The most high had to pull you away. Like, hold on. This is not who you are. Continue to focus on your own mental health because this person is confused. They don't know God loves you. You always protect it. This person don't know who the fuck they are. Then why would you be getting advice from somebody who's out here just 
living reckless. This is not a divine film. This is not somebody that the Most High sent to for you to get guidance from. This is a dark high priest. This is a dark high priest. This woman hates that you're calm. This is why this woman wanted to do this. She hates a lot about you. Yeah, the seven spiritual laws of success. She hates that you follow the laws. Like I said, this woman's sex drive. This woman does not follow the laws. This is not a, a role model. This is not somebody you go to for advice. This is not, this is not that, okay? This woman wanted to bully you. That's all it was. They wanted to have some type of control of you. Yeah, they have a contract with the devil. Like what? And you have, your third eye chakra is activated. You're a bag of wisdom. Somebody's life path number could be 11. This one was bad because your life kept upgrading. So she tried to misguide you on your path. She wanted you to feel like you couldn't do it, but you can do it. Cousins, this could even be a family member. Like I said, this is definitely a family member. Somebody you thought you could trust. Somebody's mad because you make boss moves. You got real motion. And you do not care. You don't care what this woman does, okay? You don't. This is why you pulled your energy back. Because you have real motion. You a real boss. Okay? Somebody wanted you stuck in a situation ship. You could be restoring your health. But yeah, this woman only wants sex. Like, that's how she wants. She wants sex. She wants to have sex. But money is just like sex. That's how she does. She works out of her sexual energy. Queen of Wands in reverse. And you can be a loner. You can have red hair. Or this person could have red hair. Okay? Shots are fired. You fired some shots back at this woman. <laughs> yeah, don't be sorry. Don't be careful. So, Somebody's not taking care of themselves. Yeah, karma gonna fuck all them up. So if this person was dealing with somebody he was dealing with, man, karma's gonna fuck this woman up for trying to misguide you. Oh my gosh, y'all, family and high out pills and drugs. This bitch trying to misguide you. His contract is over. Somebody, if you had a contract, like I said, you had a contract with this person, this it's literally to turn on your, to activate your higher self, activate your chakra. Because this woman was meant to misguide you, mislead you. But God showed you how much he adored you, okay? By showing you love, and that's self-love. This woman don't even love herself. How is she going to give you guidance? This is one of them, I'm getting players club type of energy. What's that cousin name, y'all? <laughs> what? This is crazy, y'all. When the cousin wanted to go um, have do the private party, she was like, I'm going to do the private party and all that. And then Lisa Ray had to go save the hoe. Like, she's like, bitch, I've been in this game longer than you. Woo -woo -woo -woo. <laughs> yeah, this is one of them cousins. Okay. This is one of them type of cousins. Yeah, you, you can be telling this person you just want to be left alone because what they do to you affects the whole, the whole world. Okay? It affects the whole world. So beware of fake vibes. Yeah, because this person really works out of their eighth house. Sex taboo. Like, that's how somebody is. They real taboo. Yeah, and this woman, ugh, this woman can really be in love with you, though. But she's still hating on you. She's still hating on you. She's still talking about you, even when you don't talk to her about your problems. She still talks about you. They hate your calm and keep clarity, not confusion. So this woman's mad because she cannot slept with your family. Come on now, come through, spurt. You keep clarity, not conflu confusion her. This person slept with a family member, okay? This family member slept with somebody that you knew and this bitch is awkward, okay? Because they was in secret competition with you the whole time. Trying to get somebody to give something to them. It's fake family and friend. Yeah, you could be connecting with your guides and moving on with her. Her wants you to trust the process, okay? And tap in and shine. <laughs> and laugh at this shit. This could even be somebody that um, you call sugar daddy. Or somebody that 
you could have expressed something to this woman about this man, right? And this woman went after this man. <laughs> and that's the truth. Okay? That's the truth. She went after this man. And she wanted to confuse you and get in your head so somebody would look at you the same way. Like, that's my, you know how people, that's my B because I know her. I've been knowing her longer than you. Like, and you started to realize, hold on, this bitch is trying to confuse me and get me on some fuck shit. Because she's a fuck bitch. I'm just keeping it real. I'm telling you, somebody did spell work, so this man, they motive was to get you locked up, stuck, or hurt. This person was trying to cause spiritual blockages, okay? Now somebody has to take accountability for what the fuck they did. So take your time with yourself. Man, that's some weird-ass shit. It's been some weird-ass energy I heard. This bitch was really telling stories about you. You could have told her one thing, and she turned it into a whole book, like... And, and added more shit on her. <laughs> like, made that shit sound good. So ask yourself, because deep healing's in progress. Ain't, it wasn't nobody but God that saved y'all. Intuition, I'm telling you. Because you could have really trusted this person. Like, yeah, you had to really pull your energy back. You had to really pull your energy back to lift the bell. So what you gonna do to change the situation, Collective? That's what Spirit wants to know. Continue to give the most high to praise because there ain't nothing to crap, y'all. This bitch loud. She's a loser. She's a loser. She's a loser ass bitch. Okay? <laughs> and the bitch is stalking you. Oh, wow. So trust the process. Yeah, she could be trying to hack your accounts. Yeah, sneaky. Cause you chosen so this woman's mad because you're chosen she's not divine i'm telling you this bitch is a bum cousins again y'all come on now spirit is not playing about this cousin of y'all this bitch is a bum you are connected to higher powers don't let anyone get in your head use your intuition to make wise choices because you're going through a positive change this bitch is a bum okay good vibes are being sent to you you minding your own business high vibing and this bitch was playing both sides. I'm telling you, and the spirit's trying to communicate with you a good one. This is why your intuition, like I said, somebody, your spirit guys is just like, you know what, bitch? <laughs> we ready to knock your little dusty, musty, crusty ass out the mild pork, okay? Shots is definitely fired at this hoe. This hoe is weird, weird ass hoe. This masculine could want to marry you now, but no, this bitch is working behind the scenes because they was pressed in real life. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I'm telling y'all, you better watch who you get advice from, okay? Everybody ain't there for you, okay? Understand that everybody is not happy for you, and everybody don't want to see you happy. I know I learned my lesson a couple years back. Well, I'm telling y'all, when my mama got sick, y'all, it opened my eyes to a lot. Because you think that people's family and friends, but you know what? When shit hit the fan and something really happened, who the fuck is there for you? Not too many, right? So once you realize that, you realize you have to be very mindful, very demure <laughs> about who the fuck you give your energy to because everybody's not happy for you, okay? People don't even really like you for real, her. You want one for the collective. Make sure you don't start seeing yourself through the eyes of those who don't value you. You don't need to know your worth even when others don't. You need to know your worth even when others don't. I'm sorry, y'all. You are not what people think of you. Yeah, somebody wanted you to think of yourself as them. Like, what? Girl, bye. Those difficult times will pass. Nothing bad lasts forever. The sun will shine again and the birds will sing and the clouds will clear. And you will be glad you kept moving forward. You will soon be rewarded for your patience. Hold on, you are far stronger than you think. Yeah. So somebody wanted you to feel like you was too weak to make decisions and shit. Like, it's giving me, like I said, somebody wanted to have a strain over your mind. And this bitch need to go somewhere and focus on her own mental health. Cause bitch, clearly you're, 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 you're distorted. This one was distorted. Yeah, so move in silence. And this boss daddy is realizing this. Like, what? So this man be like, bitch, you lied. <laughs> like, I've heard somebody say, bitch, you lied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, give me one. Two, two, two. 
Trust the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you nurture them with words, feelings, and actions. So yeah, things are growing for you, or they're going to start growing for you. So you have nothing to worry about. Hey, collective, that's all I got for y'all. Love and light, and I'm